live to Julia Bradley in Narang now. Julia, former opposition leader Bill Shorten is calling for better drafts and deadlines. That's right, Tom Shadow, NDIS Minister Bill Shorten, Senator Murray Watt and a local Labor MP, Megan Scanlon, they've met with up to 100 local residents here to hear their issues when it comes to the National Disability Insurance Scheme. Now, the general sentiment of the forum here today is that people are sick of the extensive waiting times they're having to endure in order to get care, as well as the extensive paperwork that they're required to complete uh, when loved ones are already having to care for someone with a disability. Now, I spoke to a local mum, and Marie and her 20 year old daughter Maddie. Now Maddie has a rare chromosomal abnormality. She had a stroke about one year ago which means that she can't walk, she can't essentially do anything for herself so her mum has become her primary carer. Now Anne Marie says uh, that they applied to have a full time carer for Maddie but says the federal government won't fund it. Instead they want Maddie to undertake a full day program. She says she doesn't have any control, any autonomy around this uh, and she's also frustrated that they had to wait nine months in order to receive a wheelchair and some bathroom modifications. Now Bill Shorten he says that drafts are needed to ensure that the government get it right the first time when it comes to care and also some tighter deadlines. This Christmas people will be able to go on and order anything in the world from anywhere in the world through Amazon and other services and get it in a couple of days. But when it comes to a wheelchair, you've got to wait 12 months, 24 months. And in the meantime, the families have to pay for the report. They get a quote. Then the government bureaucracy loses the report or takes so long that by the time they get approval, the report's out of date or the quote's out of date and you start again. So this is the 24th National Forum when it comes to having people's concerns heard over the NDIS. They're hoping to build up a groundswell of support and hopefully incite some change.